It's Monday today. It's super nice out. This morning we are running around getting some bids out, uh, securing some jobs, and picking up deposit checks so that we can go get steel in a couple days. Um, hopefully we'll we'll get a full load that'll be for three different projects. Uh, these jobs were essential for me to get, so super happy and excited to have them. Uh, we, the one we secured and picked up the deposit check today, and I'm on my way now to measure the other one that I, I'm pretty sure we got it. We just need to get some more measurements and get a final number on it. Hopefully we can get all that done today and finish up a small project in the shop that we have going on and be prepared for some of these big jobs, bigger jobs. They're not necessarily big jobs, but they are uh, good bill paying jobs. So last few weeks it has been rough because we haven't been doing any any big jobs that pay the bills. The little 20 and 30 dollar repairs here and there are awesome. I will never turn them away, but they are also not uh, not paying bills. So these, it's always good to have these bigger ones that you can have on the table, so to speak, at all times. And with that, here is the video of our gantry crane build. The pot rack that we built that has some blacksmithing in it will be in the next video. I want to make sure we have a final picture of what it looks like installed before I post that. But this gantry crane, I was going to just buy one at Northern Tool or Harbor Freight and after looking at them I thought, why, why am I going to pay 900 bucks or 1200 bucks for one of these? I should, I'm going to the steel place. I should just see if they have anything reasonable there. Well, they had every all of the steel you see in this, they had on their scrap rack at like 40 or 50 cents a pound, I think. So that was pretty awesome that we were able to, able to get that. And uh, I think we're gonna have 500 bucks or so in it with the casters. So enjoy this video. And uh, have fun. Thank you for watching.
the delivery but here's our next job for old showtime hunter shane I'm gonna get this thing safer for him to race 14 year old racing this thing with cushions behind him in the seat so we're gonna do some safety upgrades for showtime Right in the middle of the project. So we're pretty much all welded up. We got one more brace put on down there. About time to figure out how to stand this thing up. And our trolley's made for a chain fall, right? Well, we bought us a hoist. Cable hoist from Harbor Freight. Of course, there's no way to mount it to it. Comes with these brackets to mount it on a piece of pipe, apparently. I guess we gotta make something real quick.
So here's our plate. We're going to bolt that thing on. It doesn't have to hold a million pounds, just about a ton. I think it'll be all right. Well, we got it stood up. We is in me. Broke a light. It didn't work anyway. <clears throat> there is no footage of how that got stood up. Too much liability on that stuff. We still have some welds to make. We've got to weld the back sides of those. Or do we? No, do we? Did we flip that over? Ah, here. We gotta weld this side of everything. But that won't be too bad. Maybe I can put a board on the lift and sit on it or something. Well, that was fun. It hangs crooked right now, but once there's a load on it, it levels out. Feel like we can smash Roger Rabbit. If you know, you know, just for funsies. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.